a number of those will be um, available for, to, for use on a temporary basis. And the idea is that uh, if a community complains about noise in their, in their area, and it's a significant issue, then that um, noise monitor can be set up in that area and noise monitored at a time. Um, and the, uh, the, the, the group, and this was driven pretty well by TAG, I have to say, who, who um, suffered with uh, fairly low flying A380s over, uh, over Richmond. Um, after a, a little debate, they came up with a, a standard form of report. This is 51 pages of stuff. And um, the idea was to say that if, if measurements are made, then this is the standard report that will, that will be issued. And it will cover everything that anyone might ever think that they might need. Now, I think for the ordinary man in the street uh, trying to get through this, is, it would be a struggle. But what it does show is um, the aircraft type and the maximum noise of that aircraft type. Strangely, the A380 is the most noisy aircraft, and from the data measured across at, um, at, at Richmond, don't believe the um, don't believe the height that you get uh, on these issues. And, and that's a positive move. It, 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 it actually says that whatever... So my first question, I think, is if you think in your area there is a need for, a, for, for aircraft specifically, noise to be specifically monitored, then make representations because there's a, there's a good chance if we can find the right location for it, because this is 10,000 pounds worth of kit at least, uh, it's got to be somewhere which is secure and which does not have other noise sources too close to it. So that's uh, that's something else that has has, uh, has come out of it. Um, and I, I guess those are those are two things. Uh, the the uh, constant change. Um, myself, Larry Barter, um, and Bob McClellan were the community representatives along with the guy from, um, I think it was from Twicken, not one of the councils over there, were on this and we had this wonderful debate over what were the important issues with uh, the community representatives having this big list of stuff and the industry, that's the airlines, um, Virgin and, and so forth, and everybody, and that's on the other side. And we put these things in order, and the, the order wasn't absolutely 100% the opposite. Um, there is a kind of meeting of minds around some, uh, some of these priorities, but the idea was to set some parameters against which um, Heathrow might be able to go to um, NATS to start the process of, uh, not NATS, the CAA to start the process of consulting on a new I think that's a little way off, but, but the work has started. We're there because we know it's going to be um, concentration, we know it's going to be performance-based navigation, and our view is that um, concentration is a bad idea. Our view is that the current guidance, which by the way will be changed, and there will be concentration on it, is, is bad guidance. So we're there to make sure that the worst excesses of uh, Heathrow and NATS and, uh, and the, it's up to a point in time of transport actually don't happen. Um, now I've got one last thing to say. Well, maybe, is there any questions before I go on to my last point? Yeah. What's the next aviation forum? Uh, uh, it's in my diary. I'll have a look on it. On, on the bottom of the agenda. Point number nine. Aviation forum or community noise forum? Community you mean the borough one or the Heathrow meetings? Uh, the one that uh, David is talking about. I, I, uh, I, I have it in my diary. I'll tell you. It's in my, it's in my pocket. If, if there's. An, yeah? Okay. I, I, can, I can't ask that question, but um, regarding the noise template, has that been. Um, it, it's, it is, uh, you know, we, we, we've, we've all had a copy, electronically, and I thing. have responded uh, positively, and I think at the next meeting we're going to say, yeah, let's go with that. And if we've had some issues with the um, results, because they had a 20 and 30% increase on one flight.